crazy times we're living Apple Glass the entire project leaked by John Prosser sure Apple's not too happy about that it was supposed to be their one more thing the iPhone 12 event this year now and got some follow-up details exclusive little tidbits with Max Leinbach and I do have a lot of iPhone 12 stuff as well that's can have to wait till next video just too much going on over here for one or cases are launching in a week little iOS 13.5 has released most notable feature be the biggest jailbreak release ever also I was 12. Feast for older devices the iPhone 6 and 5 best security updates is truly amazing that the iPhone 5s has had almost 7 years of uninterrupted software updates. Ok so Apple Glass and John, Prosser's latest exclusive video gives us the breakdown on this device that Apple has been working on for quite some time it's from the gadget cast interview Prosser gave where he gave more details on the design of this device which we base our concept off he says that they look like traditional glasses they won't look like anything crazy no cyborg attachment to your face although they are futuristic it's always better for new products new concept have a friendly design that will be welcomed by the masses more readily it has specifically said they'll be sleek as hell and the material that he saw the man was a white plastic or black plastic to plastic he says that it'll likely be finished of course in a more premium metal at lunch now Apple isn't targeting professionals with these glasses then targeting the masses hence the friendly design will be a prescription version that price will be separate and a little refresher here we've learned a lot of details about the Apple Glass project directly from 9 to 5 Mac and essentially Apple Glass will not be doing the processing on your face and will be offloading all of it to the iPhone processor does confirm this thing will be much lovely this is of course where that 802.11 a wide Wi-Fi standard comes in the short range Wi-Fi standard which is perfect for the Apple Glasses meaning that the iPhone iPhone 12 lineup will specifically support Apple Glass likely older phones will have neutered capability if any support at all now Prosser mentions he saw prototype in a white and black finish Leinbach mentions that Apple will release these in a light aluminum finish at watch now is for announcement date Prosser Toberish as a one more thing closer unfortunately that's probably not going to happen it's a bit optimistic in turn he says we'll likely see an announcement in March or June 2021 with an actual release date in quarter 4 2021 or quarter 1 2022 much sooner than I thought we previously heard estimates of 2022 advance of what we earlier heard a processor speculates that if things were to get better by the time the iPhone 12 is announced in October and press is allowed at this is that it's very possible that Apple could choose to reveal these just a bit earlier and leave us waiting much like they did with AirPods AirPower and other products and then use the subsequent time to perfect the product and processor mentioned that the design may change by launch app is supposed to look like a normal pair of glasses they don't necessarily want to stand out another way that they're going to make it more friendly is by not having a camera it'll have a lighter sensor instead on the right temple and switching to a Max Leinbach exclusive to men's spectacles in a way it feels sort of hostile just the camera pointed to everyone at any time not very friendly at least for the first end product looks like or wise to have a camera on this product and who knows we may yet see one by Apple's intentions right now are to keep a lighter sensor only and Prosser mentions that the way it will charge them is by docking the glass you have to be wearing the glasses and looking through them the back end in order to actually see the content what's going on on the display so it's unclear what method Apple will be using for displaying information but it won't be some crazy cyborg looking design and Prosser mentions that starboard is the official name for the layouts on the internal design it's springboard for iPhone so quite similar sounds more like it before our product and Prosser mentions that if everything checks out legally he might be able to share it Bordui with us as well as the actual design for Apple Glass cannot wait but it really does look just like regular pair of glasses and there will be anything too crazy to anticipate it will be all in the user interface and Prosser confirms that these glasses will use QR codes to display and gave us an example of several QR codes possibly some of these could be integrated in Starboard UI or just in general to be used with Apple Glass. 
and Prosser confirms we will not be seeing a tented version so no sunglass version yet he speculates that could be a thing for Jim to maybe later on but no concrete evidence apparently it's quite hard to display that, that the lighter data from the 2020 iPad Pro and from this year's iPhone 12 Pro lineup will be leaker Fudge has shared a week on Apple Glass saying it'll feature a proximity style connecting prompt similar to that of Apple AirPods it's little details like that that make Apple product great in a separate report Apple Insider Pro Prosser gave details saying that Apple could be working on a Steve Jobs tribute version of Apple Glass potentially the Heritage Edition he doesn't know which separate report by Manchikuo he's confident that Apple Glasses will arrive no sooner than 2022 is by analyzing Apple supply chain and actually considering whether or not Apple is capable of making these at this time and he says no Manchikuo also confirms Apple is working on a new 10.8 inch likely budget and iPad model alongside a 9 inch iPad mini refresh which would likely be all screen potentially with the notch and supporting report by digit times they claim that Apple is indeed aiming for 2021 launch for Apple glasses does corroborate Prosser's report which mentions that Apple will be launching them end of 2021 or early 2022 and some exclusives for Max Linebach regarding Apple glass originally they wanted to place a U1 or H1 chip in the Apple glass stem unfortunately they couldn't make it happen due to bulkiness, hence white offloading all the power to the iPhone site line box says there will be no audio output on Apple Glass Elite AirPods AirPods will likely be an important part of the experience and Apple originally tested a display that with laser content into your eyes CWWDC is happening exactly one month from today I am so excited to see what's new and I was 14 and all the signs are pointing to an immediate refresh of HomePod likely something we could see WWDC as room rumored a smaller cheaper version and last one for Max Linebach Mac OS Redwood the previously rumored name not happening that one has been singled out I think one of the most surprising things about Apple Glass is just how suddenly it's happening Apple's been working on it for quite some time we know that but the fact that it's about to be on your face within a year and one half is the most surprising part one think the technology will take quite some time to develop much like the Apple Watch but in Series 5 the Apple Watch I think became its perfect, Foreman Series 6 will only improve upon that so will start rough like reported many of the processes will be offloaded in fact everything to the iPhone at first and as the iPhone gets faster solely glasses and the capability will expand am so excited so ready for this future I want I think it's great that Apple is making these accessible to at 499 quite affordable for first generation product and I do believe they will be getting more expensive as time goes on and as more R&D is put into these but the concept seems amazing and we're about to have our minds blown up and it is here if Apple chooses to share them with us which I hope they do in any case happening 2021 I guess things are watching there.